Welcome to this demo on Rational Requirements Composer 2.0. I'm Teresa Krochmer, and in this demo I will be showing you features in this new release. In this overview of 2.0, we'll be covering the major new capabilities which expands requirements definition to requirements management. Listed here are the capabilities we'll cover. If you're not familiar with 1.0, you should view that demo to see the requirements definition capabilities of Composer. You'll find the URL under Resources. The new web client can help achieve consensus and validate requirements faster by shortening the review and approval cycles. The dashboard is one of the more significant new features to the web UI in 2.0 and it will be shared across all the Jazz-based tools. The small sections you see here are called viewlets which you can drag and drop to customize your own dashboard. You can also add new viewlets by clicking on the button in the upper right hand corner which brings up the viewlet chooser. On the left hand side you can see all the additional viewlets you can display. In addition you can add viewlets from any other product that make their viewlets publicly available such as Rational Team Concert and Rational Quality Manager. In addition to product specific requirements there are also integration or collaborative ALM viewlets which give you information about how requirements are related to defects or testing coverage. The reporting and document generation functions can help automate tasks for generating and publishing documents. Let's create a report based on the use case diagram you see here. Here you see nine different types of reports you can generate. If I click on other reporting functions, I get the wizard which will guide me through publishing documents via the Rational Publishing Engine. But for now, I'll elect to generate a use case diagram report. Note that you can generate several different document types including doc, PDF, and HTML. I'll save my reports in a directory I created earlier called Reports. I'll then specify details for the customization of the report. I'll also specify that I want to include requirements, comments, and attributes. I'll now open the report I just generated. Here you can see the report with my customized details, the table of contents which I have to update, and the use case diagram. The list of actors and so on. Artifact collection and project snapshots are important for managing requirement artifacts. A project snapshot is a capture of the state of a project at a given point in time. This project has one folder called sketches that contains two artifacts, a part and a sketch. Here we've opened the part which only has one element. The sketch has two elements and includes the part we just looked at. We'll now create a snapshot of our demo snapshot project. Here you see the snapshot dashboard showing the snapshot that we just created. We'll now create a new folder called requirements and create an actual requirement within that folder. Through drag and drop, you can simply embed your artifacts in your new requirement. We'll now create a second snapshot of this project with the added requirements folder in our new requirement. The most recent snapshot is on the left. Below you can see the requirements folder. When I click on the original snapshot I created, the requirements folder is gone, so we're able to revert to an earlier version of our project and its artifacts. We'll now create a collection, which is a grouping of requirement artifacts. Collections can also include test cases from Rational Requi Quality Manager and work items from Rational Team Concert. 
You can also associate a collection with a snapshot that you've created so that you can view indexed information of the artifacts in the context of the snapshot. After creating our collection, we'll add artifacts to that collection. We've added the most recent artifacts to our collection. You can then create a review of the collection or manage the collection. In the next section, we'll look at creating a review. The new review and approval feature can improve the effectiveness of eliciting, elaborating, and validating requirements by using a review and approval workflow. Here we've gone back to our classic CD demo project where you see a collection of artifacts called Release 2.0 First Iteration. I'll click on that project to open it and then I'll create a review of the collection. You can create either a formal or an informal review. Formal re reviews are useful if you want participants to review a specific version of artifacts. Informal reviews are useful if you know that the artifacts will not change significantly during the review or if it's not important if participants review artifacts that may be changing. Here you can write instructions for the reviewers and then add the people to participate in the review as well as the artifacts you want reviewed. The default role is Reviewer. I then start the review, which means the reviewers will be notified on their project homepage that they have a review waiting. We'll now close the collection and we're going to switch to a different user, Stephanie. Stephanie is able to see in her side panel that Teresa has created a review. Let's open that up. If Stephanie clicks on the first artifact, she can review it. She clicks on the button to display the side panel. She then selects a section and adds a comment. Stephanie can optionally add a comment when she approves the review. And here you can see this artifact changed to approved. We're now switching back to Teresa's project page and opening the review. Here you see the status of the review is in progress, one-third complete, because Stephanie is the only one that has reviewed it so far. And in the side panel, Teresa can see the details of Stephanie's review. IBM Rational's Collaborative ALM has taken integration and collaboration to a whole new level. It's much more than simply passing data from one tool to another. It means breaking down silos in development organizations caused by multiple tools and organizational structures. It's simply, easily, and quickly enabling collaboration of all stakeholders. With collaborative application lifecycle management, users can query data across multiple tools to identify gaps such as requirements that are missing test cases or assigned work items, and it enables linking and traceability across the artifacts used or produced by team members. You'll find links to our collaborative ALM demos under Resources. Please see the demos and assets listed here for more information.